it's time for the July budget. Woohoo! Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you are new to my channel, every month I give you my upcoming month's budget at the beginning of the month and let you know where we are delegating our money to go. Because in our family, every dollar has a name, and we tell it what to do. Because we're in charge. At least we like to think we are. I will tell you that we have not had our budget meeting yet, so I am telling you all this. But it does change in the budget meeting because Mauricio will mention some things or not. The problem is I like to film this as um, and get it edited and uploaded as close to the beginning of the month as I can. And if I wait until the budget meeting, then it's usually like the 5th or the 6th. And I'd much prefer it be up before the beginning of the month starts. So keep in mind that we do have a little bit of play in our budget between when I film and the end of the month when you see my final roundup. And that actually plays really big into June's budget report card because at at the um, budget meeting, major budget things happen. So keep an eye out for that video in a couple of days. So this month for July, July will be our ninth wedding anniversary. So we've got that coming up. Woohoo! And we are doing dun dun nothing. Why? Because we're getting out of debt and it is more important that we get out of debt than we go somewhere or do something fun. This month in our utilities category, we have a shocking 186.60 for our cell phone. And I use shockingly, sarcastically, of course, because it's the same every month. And several of you have suggested I look at cheaper plans and we actually did a ton of research before we got our plans. And unfortunately, at this house, the only place that really has any cell coverage is Verizon. So we were kind of limited, but we did look into all of the super cheap plans like Republic and Cricket and all of those. We really actually wanted to go pretty cheap, but alas, if we wanted to have cell phones in our house, that was not an option. Kind of sucked. I was, I was kind of not happy about that. But we did not sign a contract with Verizon, so if ever anything better and cheaper comes along, we can just jump right out of Verizon and into something else. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with Verizon. They, you know, are pretty straightforward. Our fees are costly, but we have the highest data plans available, and a lot of that is for YouTube, and I can write that most of that off. So, you know, not an excuse, but... You know, it's it's how we've chosen to allocate our money. So other people might choose otherwise. But for us, our access to the internet is super important. And then, of course, another shocking 355 for the storage unit. And the good news is I looked at my calendar and it looks like in two weeks I'm going to go out to the storage unit. So I'm going to try and film a video while I'm out there. So I'll give you a quick little tour of our storage unit and explain to you a little bit in depth why we are paying so much money while we are living at my parents' house, it will make sense to you after that video, I promise. So hold on tight and hopefully it'll be coming within the next month, fingers crossed. No rain, because we can't go out there if it's gonna rain. Honestly, today would be the perfect day to go out there. It is beautiful. Here, let me show you out the window. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so lovely out. So in transportation, we have $75 in for the car wash service. Recio has gotten fed up with Amazon Flex and so is Ubering a lot more right now. And now that it looks like Uber will be allowing their drivers to accept tips, remember, tip your Uber driver. So now that that's happening, I anticipate his earnings will go way up because everybody loves Mauricio. I mean, when they meet him, he makes people howl. And he got like yesterday in cash, he got like $28 in tips. So yeah, and that's just when it's difficult when people have cash on hand. So I anticipate that now that Uber will allow you in app tipping that he will get a decent amount of tips, which is nice gas we have the standard 400 which we never use we usually are between 250 and 300 although with him ubering i do want to keep that up around 400 his car doesn't burn much in the way of gas but you know better safe than sorry that's a, it's about four and a half maybe five additional tanks of gas for him if we leave it at 400 and the 50 dollars for the oil change 
pretty standard. Mauricio, because he drives his car into the ground, gets an oil change almost every month, pretty much every month. So I always have it in there just in case he needs it. And then $70 for an easy pass because he's always on the toll road. Even though it, for driving for Uber, they actually reimburse him that. He he makes note of every time he gets on the toll road when he's Ubering and then submits some sort of form and, and they will reimburse him for the tolls, which is fantastic in my book. Stores, we have our standard 150 for Amazon and $40 for the dry cleaner. I doubt I will be using the dry cleaner because I don't wear suits smack in the middle of the summer as much. I try and wear short sleeve blouses or dresses to work. So, but I like to keep that in there in case I have to wear a suit and then I spill something on it and I need to take it to the dry cleaner immediately. And then Amazon, that 150, we use it every month and it's always for random stuff that I have forgotten we needed. And, and it's, it's, it's super helpful to have that in there because then when we need something or want something and I've totally forgotten about it, then it doesn't really impact our budget. Insurance and tax, we have our 159.73E, same as it is every month for USAA, and that includes our renter's policy and our car insurance policy. And the renter's policy, is it covers the storage unit because we definitely need that. And then the insurance I love to hate, well, it's only $12 a month. It irritates me that I did this. Um, when I, I took out our biggest loan at Navy Federal, they had a special insurance that if you paid $12 a month, you they would um, cover that if something were to happen to the people. But both Mauricio and I would have to die for that insurance to kick in. And um, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. I wish I had not done it. I will never make that mistake again. I thought I was being smart at the time. I wasn't. Then my life insurance is 91.65, which I know is extremely high, but I got my life insurance at the height of my unhealthiness when I was super obese. Well, I wasn't super obese by the technical definition. I was, I was morbidly obese at the time. And I had blood pressure problems and diabetes and all sorts of stuff. I had just had Melina. And so I was super sick when I got that insurance. And I have never contacted them about... I don't even know if I can. Has anybody ever tried that? Like, I have a life insurance policy for... I want to say it's a 20 year term. It might be a 30 year term, but um, I want to, I feel like maybe I should call them and see that now that all my health issues have been kind of repaired with losing so much weight that um, if I would still have to pay that much, because I haven't had diabetes for several years now. Mm, I don't know. I, if anybody knows, leave me a comment down below. I, I legitimately, I don't know. That might be something to look into. It's a hundred bucks a month almost. Mauricio's life insurance is $35.83 like it is every month. And of course, it's because he's young and healthy. So his was super cheap. And in our giving category, as of right now, we are doing nothing for our anniversary. If we decide to at the budget meeting, it'll be cheap. We might. I don't know. For right now, that is sitting at a zero. And we're not going to have the budget meeting before I edit. So that means that you will have to wait until the mid-month budget update to find out if we are doing anything for our anniversary. I kind of hope we do. I really kind of hope we do because, you know, nine years together. And in those nine years, we've always been kind of strapped for cash. Not completely while we were in Mexico. Mexico, it was, you know, we were doing well. But I, I'm looking forward to a time when we can really celebrate our anniversary and, and do something fun and not worry about money as much. In our miscellaneous category, the category I use because I cannot figure out where else to put these things. We have our iTunes auto drafts at $30. Weight Watchers at $44.95, and I am so loving doing the Weight Watcher videos, especially like the, the what I ate in a week, um, or 10 things I ate in a week. I'm really, really liking them, just because one, what I'm doing is I'm snapping a picture of the food I'm eating as I'm eating it, so if I don't track right at that moment, it makes it so much easier to track later on. Our Blue Money is $200, and Mauricio has his haircut for $25. I'm leaving $5 in here for parking meters just in case Mauricio goes back to Amazon Flex. But for now, he's not using that. 
and then $10 for junk food. And again, he's not using that because he's driving around all day. So he's not anywhere near a vending machine. So for right now with him not Amazon flexing, it's um, he's not using those, but he will probably go back to Amazon Flex in a couple of weeks because he'll get tired of driving all day, every day. And as of right now, our debt payments are going to be $4,811.60. And as always, I have a $100 cushion in there just for catch-all. And the last couple of months, it's been way over the $100. I don't know... I don't know if I should up it or if I should, some of the things like the $100 parking ticket, I mean, we didn't know that was coming and it had to be paid. So I don't know. I, I legitimately, I don't know if we should up it or not. Yeah. And, and we had another $100 expense um, that had to be done right then and there. And so that was $200 last month. But you'll hear about that in the June report card. You know, June last year was horrible. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up below. Up, up below. Yeah, I'll put a link up to it below. Um, I'll put a link to it in the eye in the sky. It, it was bad last year. We actually ended up taking on more debt than we had intended. Well, that we intended to take on no more debt, but we had to. We didn't have a choice. Well, we did have a choice, I guess. But it was... Um, probably smarter for us to get out of the situation we were in by incurring a little debt. It just had to be done. So, you know, I'm nothing if I'm not honest. So at least this June wasn't as bad as last June. So in the YouTube category, I have the three standard charges that I have every month in YouTube. The $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $4.99 for PicMonkey, and the $5 for Backblaze. Uh, TubeBuddy is an analytical tool. PicMonkey is what I use. All my graphics, like, um, you know, these overlays that I'm showing you with the, the moving background and stuff. I use that. I use PicMonkey for a lot of those. The, the higher tech stuff, not just the, like, straight on talking. And then all my thumbnails. I use PicMonkey. I use PicMonkey a lot. And, in fact, I did one video where I did some printables for Teacher Appreciation Week. And I made those. And I'll... Put an eye in the sky for that too. But um, I did those in PicMonkey as well. So, you know, I did invitations for my parents' 50th wedding anniversary in August. I did those in PicMonkey as well. They were super cute. And our sinking funds are $325 like they are every month. And those sinking funds are medical at um, $50 a month. And this year we're just saving that and then we'll start using it next year. And that that's basically gonna cover our copay. I will probably up it ne uh, soon. I'm, I'm probably gonna up that medical one soon because my my neck injection copays, um, they, no, I end up paying almost $300 right now on my neck injection, so every three months. So I really do need to up that. And then Melina is inevitably doing stuff and we'll put dental in there. So I really do need to up the medical one significantly. I think that'll be smart because medical seems to, you know, it, it, it kind of sneaks up on you. And so I'll probably do that for sinking funds, which I think will be really smart for us to do. But for now, it's $50 a month. I'm thinking maybe $150. But I, you know what I'll do is I'll probably, when I'm deciding to up that, I'll analyze all the medical expenses we've had every month over the course of the however long, you know, the last year or so. And then, then I'll divide that by 12 and that's what we'll do every month. We have the car repair replace fund set at $100 a month. We have the Christmas sinking fund at $100 a month. The emergency trip to Columbia at $50 a month and miscellaneous school expenses for Melina at $25 a month. We also have our emergency fund in our sinking funds, but that's still at $1,000. We did lower it to $1,000 when we started our sinking funds because we really knock on wood, seriously knock on wood. We don't really touch our emergency fund. I, I kind of have get heart palpitations at the thought of having to touch it. So, so we really do everything we can, including Mauricio going out and working extra if it looks like that we're going to have to touch that. And I need y'all's opinion. Summer camp this month has been super expensive. I mean, super expensive. It's like running 
$1,800 a month about. It's it's really expensive in this area. And I go, Melina goes to one of the cheapest ones. So if we're talking like rough estimate, what, $5,400? $50, Do you think I should start a sinking fund for summer camp next year? Because cash flowing that, we would be able to cash flow it, but it would impact our debt payment. So what do you think? Yes, no, I'm, I'm toying with it. We're going to discuss it at the budget meeting this month. So let me know what you think. I did have to take, this is super annoying. I had to take $500 of income out of the money we had for the July budget and move it to June. So we're down $500 in that budget. We still, you know, it, it's essentially $500 less that'll go to debt for right now. We should get that back once I'm reimbursed, but, you know, I never plan money that I don't have. I really, I try very hard not to spend money I don't have. So for now, we're down $500 in our income because of my work trip. I, you know, I paid out of pocket and I get reimbursed. So hopefully we should get that money back, no problem. So that is our July budget for now. I um, have nothing else to say, which is very random for me because I always have something to say. <laughs> oh, you are my favorite baby. I got the message like, I love you too, baby girl. I love you, baby girl. Is this not the cutest sign ever? Look at this. So cute. I'm filming. Melina made this for me to hang on the door when I'm filming videos so nobody will walk in on me talking. Isn't that cute? I just love her. Today we went to the doctor to see if my... My, this shot is so tiny, you can barely yeah. not see it. Like this right there. See that little thing? Yeah. What was it? It was a shot and a PEPD test for. Why me. did you get it? Be to see if I am all healthy. Yes, but also so you could go to my school next year. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button or click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And this video is my most recent video. And this video is one that YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!